Hello everybody and welcome back to the S2S Podcast. I am always, as your host Greg, here for the big show. Uh, it is January the 11th, 2021, currently about 5 o'clock in the morning. And 2021 has started off with a bang already. And here amongst the midst of social media, shit hit the fan in just about every way conceivable and possible known to man when Google and Apple and Amazon have decided to block Parler, uh, parlor Parler.com or the Parler app. Uh, They have uh, both Google uh, Play Store and Apple i-whatever it's called because I don't have Apple products. But uh, they have removed the app from uh, their formats. And Amazon evidently has something to do with their website or how that works. I'm not sure how they're connected to them. But anyway, currently their website is not functioning and neither is the app. So uh, I know that I read a story uh, just a few minutes ago that said that the CEO of Parler had said that uh, the site could be down for a week, if not longer. Uh, So um, here at the Stroud to Survive, uh, the only thing that I currently have is Parler. And you can find me at parler.com forward slash the Strive to Survive. And that is a two, the number two. So if you do want to reach out uh, to us, you can reach us uh, here through the podcast. You can reach us on Parler. And you can also contact me via email at contact strive to survive at gmail.com. Uh, we, the only thing I currently have left uh, is my Facebook page is up. It's my personal uh, Facebook page. And uh, that is just to keep up with family and friends that I've had for a very, very, very long time. And outside of that, uh, and, and like I actually mentioned at a post on Facebook uh, yesterday, uh, that may be going to live with Jesus soon, I'm not sure. But uh, all other uh, formats, the Strive to Survive has either been removed or shut down or I'm just not accessing it anymore. And I've removed all apps from uh, my cell phone, so I, I no longer have any apps whatsoever. I will be checking everything via computer or my laptop via the corresponding website to whatever uh, social distancing media platform uh, that I am remain on. I sent out uh, some emails and contacted some um, fellow preppers and survivalists uh, via uh, direct messaging and uh, gave them information and we kind of tra- uh, traded and swapped contact information so that we can keep up with each other during uh, this time um, hopefully uh, you know these formats or these uh, social media platforms will get their head out of their ass and they will they will figure out that this was a huge mistake on their part or maybe not uh, I doubt very seriously that just myself removing uh, these uh, pages and, and things from these sites that will have absolutely zero effect on them whatsoever. Uh, this will need to be a coordinated uh, strike uh, of many people doing this, and I believe that if enough of us do follow suit and remove these accounts and truly deactivate and remove these accounts, then maybe they will start to see that um, our numbers far outreach theirs, but you know, these are big corporate companies that have a lot of money and uh, they can probably afford to lose uh, a few million folks. And so, uh, and that being the case, all the better for them. I mean, I'm 53 years old, guys, so I remember days when we didn't have any of this shit. I remember the days way before we had internet. So, you know, I don't need any of this crap, including this podcast. I mean, uh, I'll get by just fine, even if they decide to shut this down. So I'm not worried about it either way. It doesn't affect me. I'm not a big cell phone guy anyway. Uh, I use mine for text and still prefer to make telephone calls with my phone 
And if they start doing too much stuff on the cell phone, I'll just go back to the landline. So I, I, <laughs> I much preferred those days. Uh, anyway, I'd much rather hear somebody's voice or see someone in person as I had, you know, sending messages or commenting on somebody's wall on Facebook or any of this other horse shit. It's all completely useless and it's very impersonal and, um, yes, it's a great way to keep up with people and see photos and stuff like that. But other than that, there's nothing that beats the real thing. Meeting somebody in person, sitting down, having a conversation one-on-one, you know, in person, you know, within arm's reach of each other. Um, you know, reaching out and giving somebody a hug, you know, far outreaches uh, anything that you'll ever experience online. And that's just my opinion. And, um, you know, that's that's the way that I just choose to approach life. Um, uh, we will be doing um, a podcast as soon as possible with some other guests. And we will be updating uh, everything. We will be talking about this and other things that have gone on uh, 2021 thus far. Uh, as soon as possible and we hope that you'll be around to listen uh just a quick update on our social media shit hit the fan situation hope everyone is well and uh i uh, hope that you and your family are safe uh please everyone remember uh to stay safe and be nice until it's time to not be nice and we will catch you guys in the next episode